After E3 2017, this became a surprising topic for gaming fans. Another Skyrim release? It feels like consistently every year or so, we get more Skyrim. A game that admittedly though, is loved by fans and critics pretty much all around. While we knew it deep down in our hearts Bethesda wouldn't announce a fully new Elder Scrolls 6 game this year, we were surprised to see Skyrim take the stage front and center once again with a full-fledged VR version and a Nintendo Switch port hot off the heels last year with a remastered version of the original game. So we're all here asking the question, how much more can Bethesda milk Skyrim? Even if hardcore fans don't think it's the best Elder Scrolls game, since the game blew up so huge and saw mainstream gaming popularity, I mean, Skyrim is many people's first Elder Scrolls game. It's so popular, it's many people's first RPGs. Skyrim went way beyond Morrowind or Oblivion and into way more living rooms than you'd expect. Look at it this way. One of the latest estimates of sales is from Todd Howard himself, who claimed that Skyrim had sold 30 million copies. 30 million copies is no easy feat. That's huge. That's up there in the stratosphere of huge selling games like Grand Theft Auto or Call of Duty. PC-wise, it also dominated Steam, often reaching the top playing charts and reportedly performed stronger than anything else Bethesda had put on PC in the past, which is insane. And whether Bethesda likes it or not, there's still a very active mod scene filled with people making new things and fixing stuff Bethesda never bothered to and attempting to make completely new content and creations just around Elder Scrolls and the engine. What this means, besides having way more awesome things to play with and mess around with thanks to a pretty awesome community, is that people are still playing Skyrim consistently. A game that initially released on November 11th, 2011. Usually companies take advantage of this with expansions or DLC content, and Skyrim kind of did, but it's also well past that period now and people are still playing. And Bethesda probably wants to focus their resources on their newer projects, or at least you would think. Since they can't monetize active players in the traditional sense, what they seem to do is make up for that with new versions, you know, remasters and different console versions to keep the Skyrim brand going and to continue to make more money from that player base. If they're not gonna sell you new content for a game you're still playing, they're gonna harness the still active player base and changing times and technology to get you to buy new versions of the same thing. I'm just breaking this down from their perspective. I I'm not gonna like condemn or prop up the corporation on here because that would be weird. But the way they're looking at it, they got a good thing going, they're gonna try and keep making money on it. But really, the question in this video is how much more Bethesda can milk Skyrim, and the answer, at least for me, is probably not much more. I, I think they've extended that train as far as it can go. I mean, even Skyrim on Nintendo Switch feels like a very odd and out of place, but still kind of cool move for them. While people are thinking and joking that Skyrim can continue to be milked, I, I think this is it. I think they've pushed it as far as they can go. I would be very much surprised if another Skyrim announcement crossed my desk anytime soon. Interestingly enough, I'm still curious to see where Skyrim VR goes. Oculus and Vive and PSVR are doing okay, but they haven't exactly exploded into mainstream success as much as people were hoping, at least not for gaming. The way many VR enthusiasts like myself look at it is that we need one big AAA company that needs to pave the way, really putting out big, exciting, recognizable titles and not just some half-assed, stripped-down experiences. And Resident Evil 7 did a pretty good job, but Bethesda is going all in uh, trying to get their properties onto VR platforms. They're not exactly easy undertakings. I mean, Skyrim and Fallout are big, multi-layered, uh, games full of systems intricacies, and that's gotta make a full one-to-one -one transition on VR a very overwhelming thing. But the way I look at it is that they're going in with an existing proven game, one they know that people really love, uh, hope it works well, and if it does, they can be on the ground floor of the bigger VR scene if it explodes. Will it happen? Who knows? But they're trying, and honestly, with all the ports and remasters, Skyrim VR is the one that I do actually want to see. That's where there's actual innovation. And it's only a matter of time before Bethesda Game Studios announces their next big title, whether that's a new Elder Scrolls or more likely not. By that point, they have to move on from Skyrim, right? Let's talk about this though. Would you buy Skyrim one more time if they re-released it? I, I just don't know. I'd buy a newer Oblivion or a Morrowind though, uh, but that's just me. Maybe you're a Skyrim super fan. I don't know. Maybe you're just a PC modder with something to say. Whoever you are, let's talk about this stuff down in the comments. How you feeling about Skyrim still after all these years? Let's talk about any of this stuff down in the comments. Uh, you know, clicking the like button does help us out a lot over here and subscribing if you're new is good because we put out stuff like this all the time. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.